In this video, Python GUI is designed to acquire analog voltage from potentiometer connected to analog pin of Arduino Nano. A diagram of the implemented system is shown here. This is the Python GUI which is used to acquire analog voltage between 0 and 5 volts from a 10K potentiometer interface with the Arduino Nano. We also have connected to the Arduino a push button to digital pin 2 and two LEDs connected to pins 3 and 5. The operation of the system is as follows. On the software side the user will click on the start button to begin the acquisition of the voltage from the 10k pot and the voltage values between 0 and 5 volts. Meanwhile on the hardware side the system OK LED will turn on indicating that the system is running normally. If the voltage drops below 2.5 volts an alarm will sound and on the hardware side the alarm LED will turn on indicating system failure. There are two options to turn off the system either the user on the software side clicks on the stop button to turn off the system or on the hardware side the user presses the system off button to turn off the system. Now we look at the Python program. These are the modules which are imported into the program. Inside the main part of the program, the first thing we do is to initialize the Arduino board. So here in this statement, we are indicating that we have an Arduino Nano connected to COM3. And then we set the mode for analog line A6 to input and the mode for digital line two of the Arduino to input. Now we come to the GUI design part of the program. So using the TK widget we create the main window and give it a title system and minimum size of 220 by 100. 220 by 100. Inside the window on the first row we create three labels through this code here. So the first label, pot voltage, is located at column 1, row 1. The second label, which is this uh, string value, is located at column 2, row 1. And the third label, volts, located at column 3, row 1. On the second row we have these three horizontal lines which are generated by using the label widget in this piece of code here. Next we create a boolean variable using the class boolean variable of TK intermodule and then we initialize it to a true value. On the third row of the window we create two buttons start and stop. So for the start button when clicked it will call this uh, function and for the stop button when clicked it will call this function. When we click the start button the program will jump to this function definition start pot and the while loop will check the value of flag.get. Initially it is true so the while loop is executed and in this statement we get the analog voltage from A6 which is a value between 0 and 5 volts and we save it in this variable. If the acquired voltage is greater than 2.5 volts then we turn off the red LED, turn on the blue LED and we display on the first, fourth row of the GUI system OK and then apply a delay of 0.25 seconds 
and then display the voltage value continuously on the first row. When the voltage drops below 2.5 volts, this if statement becomes true. Then we check the status of the push button which is connected to digital pin 2 of the Arduino. If not pressed, the if statement is ignored. And we go here and turn on the red LED and then turn off the blue LED and then we display on the fourth row the message alarm and then we sound the beep. When the system is in alarm mode and we press the push button on the hardware side this if statement becomes true and the break will force the program to exit the while loop and jump here outside the while loop which will exit the board and destroy the window therefore closing the application. During the operation of the system either in normal mode or alarm mode if we click on the stop button the program will jump to this function and change the flag value to false thus forcing the code to exit the while loop and this destroying the window here and closing the application. Once we are satisfied with the GUI the next and final step is to convert the Python source file into an executable application that can run without having the Python environment installed. And this is done by using the module PyInstaller, which can be added to the Python programming environment using the pip command. And on the Windows CMD, we type PyInstaller and then use the switch hyphen hyphen one file, which means that the created executable file will run by itself independent on any other files. And then we use the switch hyphen w, which means that the uh, executable file will run without uh, uh, having the command prompt uh, run with it especially if you have uh, a GUI design that everything uh, the input and the output is done on the GUI itself and then uh, we write down the name of the source file and now we can run the GUI application without having the Python interpreter installed In a future video, Python GUI will be designed to acquire both analog and digital sensor values. Thank you for watching.